Hello, welcome to my video. Today I'm making one of my favorite sauces for pasta. Um, what I have in the pan before you, before I started the video, I got um, my pasta all set over here and uh, the spaghetti. And what I have in this pan is rendered down bacon and probably about two to three tablespoons of the um, bacon grease. And um, you can save this bacon grease. You can see how clear it is. Um, put it right in your refrigerator, you know, like a canning jar. It'll last in there, i say forever, but I, I use it faster than that. So a couple of weeks. And use it. The best thing to make is fried eggs with bacon grease. That's the best thing. And it's funny because since I started making these videos, I've noticed that I talk with my hands a lot, which is, I never knew, I never knew that or noticed it. But <laughs> okay, so now what I have here in this bowl, as I might already start it, is some crushed, canned crushed tomatoes. They're whole peeled tomatoes in juice. And um, I like to crush my own tomatoes. Gonna, well, let me swish out the water because I like to always swish out um, all that good stuff in there. You don't want to lose any of that good stuff. And my mom taught me that. Okay, and then I take my hand and just crush up the tomatoes, which I think is a lot of fun. Me and my mom used to do this when we'd make sauces and different things. And some people don't like to do this. You can just buy the kind that's already... Um, either diced or and I, I think it's fun it's plus, plus it keeps the tradition let me just wipe up my hands here okay so like I said the bacon's rendering down well it's already done but of course I don't really measure but I'm going to try to measure for this recipe so I can um, let my family and YouTube uh, viewers enjoy it. I love hot pepper flakes, so I'm going to start with a teaspoon. Probably definitely need more. And uh, I got some fresh crushed black pepper. We'll start with a teaspoon of that. And what I do is use a little canning jar, and it fits right in there, and prep some in advance. Put the top on it, and you have some for the day or for your recipe. And then, of course, some salt. And now, I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt, but you might not need a lot of salt because there's a lot of salt in the bacon. Okay, so, and then what I do is I give this a stir. Mix this all up. Trust this. Hey, I'm making a video here, buddy. That's my little chihuahua. All right, come on. And uh, it looks delicious. Always give it a taste. I like to test and see where my seasonings are at. Oh, very good. And it's always good to season. Give it a mix. Season some more. So what I do, you could do all this right in the pan. But what I'm doing is I'm making mine in the bowl first so it's easy to prep. And you can have this done in 20 minutes. Have dinner on the table fast. By the time it takes for the um, pasta to boil, and about 15 minutes for the bacon to render down, which I got uh, probably about a pound of bacon. I don't know if I said that. And um, and then I make the sauce and get that all ready. And then that way, you can get a salad ready while the sauce is cooking. So you're going to hear a big sizzle now when this goes in. And that is nice. And then what I like to do is let this cook for about 10 minutes. But since I don't have 10 minutes to wait for the video, but I would normally probably put another teaspoon of hot pepper flakes, which because I love hot pepper flakes, and with the mix with the black pepper, it hits different spots on your palate, so they go so well together. Another teaspoon of that. And then let's see. I don't know if I'm going to use another whole teaspoon of salt. Um... Yeah, almost a whole teaspoon of salt. Like I said, give that another stir. And this could cook down for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's done. It's very easy, very fast. 
when you turn it up so it can cook faster. And if you like yours a little thinner, add a little more water, a little thicker, keep it like this. I try to hold it up so I can show you what it looks like because my camera situation. Um, and then cook your pasta to al dente, which is like um, the package called for five minutes. Um, cook, cook it um, five to seven minutes. Don't ever overcook your pasta because overcooked pasta is just mushy and yucky. And of course put a lot of salt in your water. Let me get this going because I don't want to put the pasta in there yet. But this is one of my favorite sauces. If you give this a try, you're going to love it. And of course you don't want to eat this all the time, of course, because it's bacon and a little bacon grease. But it's one of my favorite uh, dishes and make a lot of it because leftover is the best. And um... Oh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. But I hope you give this one a try because you're going to love it. I promise. Mmm. It's spicy. And it's good. If you don't like it as spicy, just don't put as much red pepper flakes. Always season as you go. And then that way you know if you need a little bit more. Don't be afraid to experiment. That's how I learned. I mean, I learned a lot from my mom, of course. But over the years, I've just experimented. Okay, it's not quite done yet, but I'm going to put my pasta in there to speed up the video here. And you could add maybe mushrooms um, if you like, or fresh parsley too if you like. I didn't have any, so, but, well, that got into kind of a clump. You should never leave your pasta sitting too long without, I, I usually put a little sauce in my pasta to keep it from sticking. Never put oil in your pasta to boil it. As long as you have a big pot. Let me see if you can see this. Why I'm stirring it. If you have a big pot of hot wa of boiling water, you add like a couple of tablespoons of salt. That's all you need. You never need to put oil in there. Some people do because they, they think it's for the sticking but you definitely don't have to worry about sticking as long as you have a good um, um, boil and you stir it a couple of times when you first put it in there you see how good this is looking I'm telling you you're gonna love this I love it my kids love it and if you love bacon you'll love it if you don't like the bacon you could leave the bacon out but I don't know who don't like bacon but you could leave the bacon out and uh, uh, maybe put in some chicken or something, you know, different. What, what would you like? And if you don't want the bacon because of it's uh, so fattening. <laughs> but, I mean, who doesn't love bacon? And once in a while, bacon is great for you. My little chihuahua loves the smell of the bacon, so he was out here getting all excited. Okay, I think that's good. And like, this looks like it's a really saucy because when you look down the pan, it's tons of sauce down there. But this is really not a real saucy pasta. And if you use shells and elbows, they work great too because they hold all that sauce in there. I like to use spaghetti or um, linguine. It's looking pretty good. And when I'm... Um, let's see... Let me set you back up over here so you can see. Let me make a dish up for you. Oh my goodness. This is like my favorite dinner. <laughs> this is what I crave. And I could eat probably a half a pound myself. <laughs> And then get down there and get some more bacon and some of those tomatoes and put that right on top there. You are going to love this. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Let me give you a close-up shot. Give this a try. I promise you're going to love it. It's easy. It's fast. It's amazing. Thanks for watching.